Welcome to Trickmas Day 6. We are doing a trick that you guys suggested down below. It seems to be what's called a unicorn trick for a lot of you guys because it's very difficult. It takes a lot of patience and that trick is hold. So the very first thing before we can even tackle the trick hold is making sure that your dog likes to play with toys or likes to engage with objects that you are presenting them. If your dog does not engage with toys or objects that you're presenting to them, then maybe you should wait on this trick. This trick takes an incredible amount of time and lots of patience and just little by little baby steps to making the final product of getting your dog to hold a toy. Now that we've gotten all that out of the way, the very first thing to do is find a toy that your dog wants to engage. And I find a toy that kind of has some length to it that your dog can really grip onto easily is helpful. A little bit lightweight because the toy's weight will make a difference on the ability of your dog being able to hold it. If it's a pretty heavy toy or object, it makes it more difficult to hold. So what you're gonna do is I would sometimes even like play with the toy a little bit so the dog is interested in it. It's not just some weird object that your dog doesn't know or want to play with. And then another portion of this trick that I find is difficult for people is you need to make sure that your dog is willing to trade toys for food and food for toys. They can go back and forth between the two. And we can talk about that in a future video if you're interested in, because some dogs, as soon as you give them a treat, that's all they want is the treat. So make sure the treat maybe is a little bit low value or something that is the lowest value that your dog will work for because you don't want them to be so enthralled about the cookie that they're totally ignoring the toy. You ready? Get it, get it, er, er, er. yeah, ready, ready. So you can kind of test it out, make sure they can play with the toy, play with the toy, have some fun with the toy, and then give it, and then trade for food, and then go straight back to the toy. And Jade has played this game before, so this might be the first step for you guys, is to do a playing with the toy, and then trading for food, and then going back to play with the toy. Now that you got that down, Let's see if we can get Jade to hold it for just a little bit longer. Yes, good job. And what you're going to do is you're going to mark and reward the gripping of the toy, not the letting go, which is very easy to do. So what you want to do is say yes, as soon as they grip onto the toy, even just for a second here, ready, get it, yes, good job. And just kind of extend that gripping for longer and longer periods of time. Get it. That's where the dog understands that tugging and holding onto it for a long period of time gets me reinforcement. And then what you're gonna do is let go of the toy. Yes, good job. Then we start adding a take it or hold word. And we start to add a also a release word. So for Jade, we say the word thank you. So we ask for hold, thank you. And that tells her to let go of the toy. You ready, hold, thank you. There we go. The next step is to Experiment and get them to hold other types of objects. Hold. Thank you. Good job, very nice. Hold. Thank you. That's awesome, very nice.